Greetings to all of my friends uh, across the network, Facebook, Twitter, wherever this video may go. I appreciate you so much listening to the video today. I want to talk to you about uh, Fear Not is going to be the message that I'm going to preach today. And my text is found in 2 Timothy 1 and 7. And it says, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and a sound mind. So I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, Timothy. Timothy had quite a history. He traveled with Paul in the evangelistic meetings. And in verse 5 of this chapter, 2 Timothy 1 and 5, Paul describes him as having unfeigning love, which is sincere and dedicated. That's what that word unfeigned means. He was a very faithful follower of the Apostle Paul. He traveled with him in many places. And the Apostle Paul wrote Timothy while he was in prison in Rome. And along with four other books, Colossians, Philippians, and Philemon, and uh, there was four that he wrote over there, and he always addressed Timothy. Uh, he encouraged him when he was a young minister to preach the word and to do what God wanted him to do and to fulfill his ministry. It also says in verse number five that he inherited a great heritage from his grandmother and his mother Eunice and Lois. They, they had the love and the desire for him to serve God, and he did that with all of his heart. And it was an amazing thing that Timothy uh, is coming up with this. And now Paul has given him some advice in verse number seven, that God has not given us a spirit of fear. For I want to, folks, I want to tell you today, we're living in some very difficult times. It seems like that it's very difficult to try to get a read on what's exactly going on in our world today. We hear about Many videos were posted on YouTube about the end of the world, about Jesus coming, about the rapture of the church. There are just all kinds of things out there. We're hearing about the destruction of America. There is, there is a, a, a spirit, a spirit that's going on in this world that's trying to eliminate Christian influence around this world. Don't fall for that, friend, and don't become fearful about the things that are going around you because God has not given us a spirit of fear. It's a spirit that deals, but God's Holy Spirit gives us three things. He gives us power. He gives us love, and He gives us a sound mind. When you have the Holy Spirit in your life, he gives you a strong influence to be able to do the things you need to do. And he gives you the love of God that's shed abroad by the Holy Spirit in your life. And he gives us that tremendous love. It makes us love everybody and uh, not be afraid of the things that are coming up on this world. And he gives us uh, tremendous power. After you receive the Holy Ghost up on you, it said you shall be power in my, my witnesses in Jerusalem and to the uttermost parts of the earth. And God gives us strong influence and it gives us power to preach this message and to carry forth the word of God in its power. And he also gives us a sound mind. This does with the mental aspect of our life and our mind. And uh, this, this is the thoughts have got to be in there that are pleasing to the 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 presence of God. We got to feed the we got to have the right kind of diet. We've got to live on the Word of God. We got to be abiding in prayer. We've got desires to live for God and to reach out. And regardless of what happens coming this age, uh, Jesus said, I'm gonna be with you. And, and friends, you don't have to worry about things that are coming up on this earth. The Bible says in the last days that men's hearts will be failing them for fear of things that are coming up on this earth. Friends, have not fear today and trust God with all of your heart. He's going to bring us through this pandemic that we're going through. I feel like it has been an attack of Satan in a strong way. And a lot of people say, are we the under the judgment of God? Folks, I want to tell you, if you were under the judgment of God today, you would know it. And because when God sends his judgment, he has a way of wiping out things on a clean slate like he did at the flood and like he did at Sodom and Gomorrah. 
So folks, we don't want to fall into fear and allow ourselves to not, not be uh, relaxed in our spiritual warfare. And we know that God has given us power. So let us work in the kingdom of God. Let us spread the message. Uh, let us not give in to fear and let us have faith. Uh, faith is a lot better than fear. It's the opposite. And thank God for, for, for faith. Let faith dwell in you. It's the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. I love you very much, and I pray you will hold on to God's unchanging hand in these difficult times. God's going to give us grace through these difficult times. We're going to come through. I believe very soon we're getting to see Jesus, and I'm looking forward to that day very much. Thank you for listening to this video today, and God bless you, and may he bless you in many ways.